It looks like we have some definite movement going on in the Pacific Northwest and off the coast of Oregon, Washington, and California. Specifically, the Cascadia Megathrust Fault that you see here. Here recently, I did a video talking about how in the region of Seattle and the Puget Sound, this region is being pushed west. It's shifting westward, all the Vancouver Island region with it. And there's a lot of small seismic activity that's been happening up in this area versus anything along the coastline all the way down through here. Usually, this coastline remains quiet. And you don't really start to see the activity till you get down toward Eureka in California. There's a line that cuts out from there connected to this one day Fuca plate that sees a lot of small activity. Now, every now and then we will see a magnitude 5 or magnitude 6 hit right out here on this plate. This plate itself is diving underneath the North American plate here. And right now, the scientists are stating that they have four years worth of data with 268 seismometers. And all of these are bringing back data that are showing anomalies in the upper mantle below both ends of the Cascadia subduction zone. They're saying that they may influence the location, their frequency, and the strength of earthquake events along the U.S. Pacific Northwest. Of course, if there's going to be a massive tsunami or anything generated on the west coast in this region, it's going to come from this spot right here. We've talked about the drills, talked about uh, all the different things that have gone down in terms of a huge tsunami event coming from a big earthquake up here. But this subduction zone itself is 620 miles. It hasn't experienced a massive lengthwise earthquake since 1700. And of course, as I said, this is where the one-day Fuca plate dips under the North American continental plate. And this fault zone stretches from just offshore from northern Vancouver Island to Cape Mendocino in northern California. They're saying that the mantle is rising other, under the southern Gorda deformation zone at the north edge of the San Andreas Fault and under the Olympic Peninsula at the southern Vancouver Island. So there's two different spots at the north and the south that they say are sticking. It's where these anomalies are sticking together. They are building up energy. And it's from there they can release massive earthquakes. They say that the smaller quakes are being seen in the middle and that it looks like a, a majority of the energy is being stored at the northern and southern tips of this fault line, which connects right on down into the San Andreas, like I said. And all of this is very intricate, all of it tying in together. So, yes, big earthquakes on one of these fault lines could set off the San Andreas or vice versa, depending on how things went down. But this is some updated information showing that there is some anomalies out here. And I think this kind of goes hand in hand with the last report that I put out with this whole region up here shifting off to the west, moving westward. Definite movement in this region. More details here in this story. I'll leave a link below. I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7.